In the previous video, I show how you can use semantic kernel to call a local large language model exposed by LM Studio. But useful question is how you can expose multiple models, not only one model. So my software can use multiple local models. So um, LM Studio has this functionality built in because it allows hosting multiple models and it can automatically load the model upon a request from the client if the model is already present and it was downloaded from the internet. Let's see how and let's see how we can use with semantic kernel. The code is really similar to the previous one. I simply configure semantic kernel to use a local model exposed by LM Studio using a redirect URL that will be used to configure services. Then I'm going to configure a new HTTP client with a timeout of five minutes because I want it to wait because my local model can be slow because it is exposed by a machine that has not a powerful GPU. And then I create a method called register local model where you can send, you can specify the model ID you want to load and it the standard configuration of semantic kernel with the skx0010 because this is an experimental method that allow you to configure add OpenAI chat complexion but passing your override URL so you are calling the local model. The only difference with the previous example is that now I'm specifying the model ID passed as parameter and I use the model ID to register this particular uh, child complexion with the model, a service ID that is equal to the model ID. So as you will see in a moment, it will allow you to specify which model you want to call thanks to resolution of dependency injection. Now I simply register a couple of models that I have. Both are based on Gemma 3 by Google and one is a 12 billion model and the other is a smaller 4 billion model. Now the only thing that is different is that when you are going to resolve your I check completion service, you are passing the model ID of the model you want to use. And this will specify the model ID in the request to LM Studio and LM Studio will understand which model you want to use. Now in LM Studio, I have no model previously loaded. I'm going to run this example and look what is happening. Now my code requests a Gemma 3 12 billion. And so the model is loading automatically. And when the model is loaded, as you can see in the bottom part, tokens are being generated. And now another request comes. And as you can see now, we are loading the smaller 4 billion model. And again, it will answer to the request. So as you can see, it's very easy because actually you just download models from the internet and then you keep your LM Studio open and then you can simply call and decide which, which model to use using a simple call. But this approach is not, in my opinion, the better approach you can have because it is better to configure model manually before going to use this model. And there's a lot of reason, but basically you can use multiple model at once exposed by LM Studio instead of, as you see in the previous example, being a model being loaded for each request. So each time the caller make a request requesting completion with a module, a new module is loaded and the old is unloaded. But in this situation, it's better for me to load both the model and maybe do some configuration by myself. Now, instead of letting LM Studio to automatically load the model when a request comes, I can load the model manually. So I'm proceeding to loading a Gemma 3 for billion. I have only eight gigabytes of memory in my video card, but eight gigabyte are enough for running the Gemma 4 billion model. If you look at the right part of LM Studio, there are all the parameters of the model. And one of the most important is the GPU of load. It will show 34 of 34. It means that we have 34 layer on, layers on this model and all of them can fit into my video card memory. So the model is gonna run fast. Now let's see what happens when I load another model. So now I'm choosing the 12 billion instructor. As you can see, the model now is loading parallel because if I load the model manually, the model are loading side by side 
And you have the eject button that allows you to unload the, mem the, the model from memory. And if you select the Gemma 3 12 billion, and if you compare with the Gemma 3 4 billion here in the right part, you can see that now I have 21 on 38 layer in my VRAM, in my GPU memory. In my experience, running a model uh, that fits uh, not entirely in your GPU, probably it's not the better situation. So I could slide this to zero. And so this means I want to use only my CPU and only my main memory of my system to run my 12 billion model. And now you need to press this button below to reload the model with the new settings. Now the model is loaded entirely in my system memory and it will use only the CPU to run inference. It will be slower, but here I show you how you can configure your system. So maybe you want your smaller model to run faster because they fit entirely into your GPU. And maybe if you wanna run the larger and slower model, you can afford to run onto, onto your main memory CPU. But thanks to this, I have both the model loaded. Looking at the output of the example, you see that I have both model answer, that's the previous run, and it's, it's not a problem, okay? Now I wanna run again, and this time if I'm restarting the kernel and I'm clearing all output and I'm running the example again, you can see from LM Studio that Actually, both models are loaded, and when the client will start to ask for inference, ask for the model, the model will start answering. As you can see now in the bottom are showing the log, log are passing, and it can use both my model without the need of loading and reloading because LM Studio finds that the model requested by the client, it was already loaded. So I actually have both my model loaded, I could specify a different way of loading model. So my 4 billion fits entirely in my GPU. So it is entirely in my GPU. While the 12 billion that does not fit in my GPU, it's loaded entirely in memory. The client run and the result from the point of view of the client is the very same. But from the point of view of handling resources of your machine, this is much more better because you can decide where to fit your model. Moreover, if your client is gonna ask all of your model, it can cause a lot of model loading and unloading, and so the overall execution will be slower. It is better, in my opinion, to configure LM Studio with preloading model manually, configuring it, and be sure that your client is using only the model you have manually loaded. But as you can see, it's very simple. And now I have a solution that can use multiple large language model hosted by the machine, simply using a different model ID in the configuration of Semantic Kernel. Now, to conclude this video, it is really simple use to use La, uh, LM Studio to expose multiple model. And thanks to configurability of Semantic Kernel, this is completely transparent from uh, semantic kernel perspective. You just use the name of the model you have in your, you have exposed in your LM Studio during configuration. You can also configure, as you see, multiple model in the same kernel, in the same configuration, and you can use dependency injection to decide which model to use at runtime. So it is very highly configurable and it is very simple to use. So I hope you like this video. Bye-bye, and I'm waiting you for the next one.